I'm sorry to have to wake you guys up so early, but it is an immediate evacuation this morning. Uh, we have to get the power and the water shut off as soon as we possibly can. Okay. So we need to get you guys to safety inland. So as soon as you guys could go ahead and pack up your All right. gear and uh, get on the road. We are off to go see the Britican. So they've got a gorgeous 50 some, 50 plus foot oyster and they purchased it somewhere in the Mediterranean and then from there they crossed the Atlantic and then now they're up in South Carolina. So we've had awesome timing to hook up with so many people that are normally around the world just happen to be at the locations that we are. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Come for aboard. sure. Come aboard. Oh, wow. Pringles, how's it going? Very good. Nice to find me. Yeah, for sure. The sailboat I was talking about with the wooden floors. Like I this know. Is this is the, the teak, sailboat I wanted. Teak deck, teak deck. I love your sailboat. I mean, like, I like the cockpit, how you have so much space to steer and you have, like, the window. Yeah, but we're living on this, like, permanently. This is our house. I, I would love to live in this house. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, do you have a pen, paper? <laughs> Monday morning. We're just about to head down to Savannah, Georgia. It's humid right now, but there is a hurricane, Hurricane Matthew. You might have heard about it. It's uh, right now affecting sailing Uma, some sailing friends of ours that are down off Haiti. It's literally going over the top of their sailboat, and I think it's a class four hurricane, so our thoughts go out to them. And then it might make its way up to Florida. So we don't know how it's going to impact our Florida, upcoming Florida adventure. It is already impacting the humidity and I already have issues with humidity. And here comes a duck. We are on our way to Savannah. Are you guys pumped? Yes. <laughs> yes. century like gorgeous but like, there's all this history but then you can feel the college like all the kids and it's true. the coolest part are all these parks like this town was laid out for people to enjoy themselves together and it's really cool because this is the main park but we also drove past all these little squares it's like it's out of control so pretty You want to just put in San Augustine, Florida and just make our way? And yeah. Yes. Let's just do it. Let's yeah, just, that'd be so nice. Just go. Let's do I'm that. Why are you so eager? I'm time in the car just sitting there. I'm not even kidding. Like, it's just so peaceful today. The Side Street Cafe. Yes. The Side Street Cafe. I got a rotisserie chicken. And yes. I'm going to pull it apart and put it in these nice little 
Hawaiian rolls with a little mayo Ooh, and a little sauce. chalua. Ooh, and I'll make Tori's with barbecue sauce. Okay. And what's over there on We've the got stove? Some grapes. I'm making a quesadilla for the boys. Is it clear why I don't like to eat out? This is the side street cafe. Imagine what we have at the Full Hookup Cafe. Let me tell you something. The Full Hookup Cafe it's is ten times cool. better than any restaurant oh, you, guys are you could go at. Am I right? Yes. We're ready to get going. Okay. All locked up. All locked up. Okay. Did you have some of that cheese, like thing? It was it delicious. Was delicious. Like, I know. I mean, it was like. Crispy was good. I don't know. I Trish can make a peanut that. butter jelly sandwich and be like, oh my gosh. No what, what's in this? Peanut butter and jelly? <laughs> St. Augustine, Florida is 150 miles away, two hours and 52 minutes. I think oh, we could. We're done. I think Where's we can make going? it. Well, we just found a state park, St. Augustine State Park, water and electric, 30 bucks a night. They said uh, Ranger Station closes at 7.30, so get on down here as soon as you can. That's where we're headed now. Oh. We're in Florida, people. Yes! We are in Florida. Was that a sign of a turtle or an alligator? This one over here is scared of alligators. They have little tiny arms. They can oh, yeah. hardly run. They run very, very No, they're they can hardly. Land sharks. That's they... what you should just think no, of them as a land no, shark. No, they're no, no. They're like great they whites. Will eat no. You. They will eat you. No. You don't know where they are. They know where you are. No. And it eats you. They're like, they they're like they're like lizard-like kitty cats. No. Yes. That's what they are. They they're like lizard-like kitty cats. They will eat you in your sleep. Hello. Hello. Apparently I didn't read the signs correctly. I should have parked over there and walked up here. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. He was nice. What size is that? Mm -hmm. Cause these are all one way loops to 125 in the cul-de-sac there. Huh? Friendly guy, very informative, all checked in. 30 bucks a night with an option for the third night. All is good. Here you go. Nice. Look at this campsite. I mean, I, I tell you, it really feels like I'm on the set of like some Disneyland ride. And you're from Arizona, and you see trees that have like this weeping things coming off of them, and then literally like like ferns growing from the top of the branches. Amazing. This is really cool how it's all draping down. Isn't it though? Yeah, like. It's like um Jungle Book. I know. Like all this stuff. I know. The, the ranger came to the door today and went like this. And I was like, oh, it's Mark. I'll just go open it oh, up. Oh boy. <laughs> and anyway, they let us know that we might be evacuated tonight or tomorrow. Current weather alerts from the National Hurricane Storm Center. Hurricane Matthew is a dangerous category four hurricane with sustained winds of 140 miles per hour means that we're keeping an eye on the hurricane and we're going to see if we're going to have to move tonight. Turtle. Look at it. Back up for turtles. We are in a state of emergency. Turtle sighting. Guys, we need to be careful. It could be a snapping turtle. That was a good spot. Spotting of the turtle. The eye of the turtle. Bing, 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 bong. Bing, 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 bong. We've been working at Starbucks all day. Fast Wi-Fi, very productive, everything good. Now we've heard that, uh, I saw on Facebook that like grocery stores are literally like getting out of water and out of certain things. So we thought we would go, we thought we'd go get that. We definitely have enough water and enough um, like stuff to make pizza and pasta and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> easy stuff. Yeah. I don't know why I said pizza, I meant <laughs> pasta. Carson's gotten in my brain. I'm provisioning for a storm, I'm provisioning for a hurricane and like Trish is like, getting Italian ice, don't, all right? Don't, we have conflicting goals. Don't try this. Last time you went shopping, guess what we had for dinner? Oh my gosh, it was such a juicy peanut butter. Liar. One more. Okay. Sam, can you tell me how you're provisioning for the storm that's coming up? 
<laughs> First tip when you're provisioning for a storm coming in, get lots of vegetables, things that die quickly. Okay? Stock up on those things. I'm just kidding. We're not really that worried about it. So when I went to go get flashlights, they're all gone. Oh my gosh. We don't have any flashlights except for our phone, and they said that you might have no electricity for a week. All right, there. Now that everyone's off of work and it's Monday, that water in the front of the store literally disappeared while we were shopping. Incredible. Our groceries are getting soaking wet. Hey, we we were... to... It'd be nice to have what? A little bit of an awning or something. Oh, an awning would be awesome. <laughs> How do you get one of those? Uh, it's a special add-on. Really? Mm -hmm. RVs have awnings? Because mm -hmm. ours never came with one. This salmon melts in your mouth. Oh my goodness. Like Caleb, that was the salmon. It was great. It's gone. Oh my god. It's gone. Is it not the best salmon ever? This is like the best salmon. You guys are going out of control. I'm not. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. If this, me the short end if this is RV living dinner, then I want more RV living. I'm sorry not to wake you guys up so early, but it is an immediate evacuation this morning. And that ranger was so great. And that whole conversation I was having with him, I was having him on underwear. So I'm going to fill the fresh water so that we have lots of options. Um, and because I don't know where in the heck we're going to go today. So I'm right up here. Okay, so if we're over here in St. Augustine, we can literally just go in to like Polka or Gamesville. Orlando All right, well, let's look really at big far. picture. Big picture is we're going to Key West. Yeah. So the question is, how are we going to get there from St. Augustine? What if we just went to Orlando? Yeah, but Orlando is really far. We're going to just be driving in a storm the whole way. I'll yeah, tell you one thing. Stop right here. There is not a lot of traffic. And by not a lot of traffic, I mean no, no one is on the road. So. And a side note, what happened to the good old thermos with like the little mug on top where you pour a little bit in and you drink it? Remember those? You have food and water for three days of preparations that we have. Going to Orlando is just putting ourselves in a highly populated area where everybody needs the resources. Mm -hmm. And it's closer to the water. Okay. We can even go to Akala or whatever. That's further down. Oh, that's a good idea. So we can make some more progress down, let's do that. This is our new location that we thought was gonna be safe. And as we continue to look at the weather reports on what's happening with Matthew, we realized that this area really is going to end up potentially getting about 50 knot winds. One of the things you don't wanna do with an RV is uh, park near power lines or like big trees and so forth. So we selected this spot right here. Okay, I think we're in a much better position should the wind pick up tonight. We just basically have this telephone pole palm tree that has not been trimmed with a bunch of stuff that will come off the wind. Awesome. Uh, so as you can see, all we've had is some frond, palm fronds land on the truck. Uh, there have been some gusts of wind, but nothing really that bad. It kind of sh shakes the trailer a little bit, but no big deal. And uh, so I'm gonna see if I can add another day and that'll give us 24 more hours to figure out what we're gonna do next, where we're gonna go. It is sunny in Florida again. It's a breezy, perfect day. Now we are excited to continue what we started on Wednesday and go to Miami. We don't really know if the RV parks are open yet, but uh, we'll just cross that bridge when we get there. No, no. What do we got, gaming central? Carson, it doesn't look like you've slept all night. Woo! And you, what's treats. going on here? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, we've been a little cooped up for a few days. Matthew here. got the best of us. Matthew, Matthew got into our heads. We gotta get on the road to get to Miami and it's a long drive and I have to find a Starbucks to download footage from my iPhone so that I can finish making the Boston video. Still here. <laughs> <laughs> you downloaded videos, you're ready to start creating? Yes. Okay, good. I just picked this up out of coincidence and good thing because look, we're gonna go from where we took shelter here at Silver Springs. Yeah. And go down. They're leading us down the 75. You know what this is? What? A big fat turnpike. Oh. So that's 50, 60 bucks. Tolls, massive tolls. Ah! Toll to Miami will cost us $47. Ouch. That's a lot of money to just to drive on the road. So we're trying to figure out how much time the turnpike will really save us and if it's worth it. 
goes for a little while here. I don't know why. Some signs that say no tolls today. That's impossible. Huge score. No way. I'll believe it when I see it. Nobody's paying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tolls suspended. Tolls were suspended by order of the governor. So thank you, governor. Thank you. I'll tell you what. That, that we're recouping some of our, our <laughs> New Jersey, New Jersey Turnpike toll. <laughs> So that's kind of cool. So now we're now we're like now we're like pro turnpike all the way to Miami, baby. That is called Matthew's silver lining.